just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling hard, beat everybody's carefree Hello and welcome to Bali vlog two. So yes, this is part two of my vlog. Oh, going out into the sunlight, looking a bit bright here. So we have just arrived at Svaga Loka Resort and it is so magical, it's really beautiful. That's Rosie in the background, just wandering around. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's so, it's really authentic here and it's very quiet. We're kind of like down by a river in a bit of kind of like a jungle vibe. I'm gonna show you around now, okay. So this is our balcony. Well, this is like the first balcony, which is then part of our living room, which is here. And then we have this amazing, we've got a little kitchen section here, should we wish to use it. And then this is all totally open, which is gorgeous. So it's like running water down there. And then my room is through here. Got quite a few beds, I mean, it's just me, but hey. <laughs> And then heading into the bathroom. I haven't actually been in here yet. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> now that was a real reaction to a bathroom that I was not expecting. And I'm assuming that I could open that gate and, oh, oh my. <laughs> I should realize that this happens, but that toilet, that toilet lid just went up as I walked past. It's like on a sensor. So let's go out here. Oh. <gasps> Oh, and then this is my other balcony. So basically, and then this is the view. This is absolutely incredible. Like, amazing. So I can like have a bath. What is that noise? I can have a bath and then just like look out to the forest. Oh, that's my shower. I didn't even like clock that there was a shower there. So yeah, this is pretty epic. And Rosie is in her own room next door, which is, let's go and have a quick look at Rosie's. We're coming to find you, Rosie. <laughs> Coming to find Rosie's room. Uh, is your room the same as mine? Oh no, she's got, got a little seating area. Oh, this is too cute. So beautiful. Yeah, so we're at the Svaga Loka Resort and so far, Pretty epic, I think you'd agree. Since I last spoke to you, as you can tell, I am showered, I'm clean, and I also had my first appointment here at Svaga Loka with a gentleman named Richard, and he is a healer and also just an awesome man. He was just amazing. I'm gonna tell you more about what he does in my blog post about this place, just because I think that I wanna go a little bit more in depth about my experience here, and right now I'm still kind of trying to get my head around everything. Um, yeah, so, this place is beautiful. Um, Minky the monkey has made a new friend. Let me just show you. There he is. <laughs> this is a new elephant pal. Yep. Anyway, back to me. <laughs> so, yeah, we are going to be having dinner in our living room. Sounds so crazy. Um, so obviously I'll show you what we have. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. from Svaga Loka Resort. It's so beautiful here. Um, I've just woken up, done a bit of yoga. I feel weird. Weird is the only way that I can put it. So I had my, like I told you, I had my meeting with Richard, um, this amazing healer and that kind of stuff I'm always open-minded to, but I have never been to see a healer before. Um, but there have been some changes and I'm just trying to get my head around them because it's, Actually, uh, I don't know. I feel I feel really odd. I feel like in a bit like in a good way. I'm oh, sorry. I don't want to cry on video. Um, I just I <laughs> I have no words. Um, what an experience! And thank you to Richard. I'm gonna go. I'm going for breakfast. And Rosie and I go for breakfast with him this morning. So I'm gonna chat to him about how I feel after the treatment and everything. Um, but yeah, what an amazing man, an amazing gift, and what an amazing place this is. <sighs> I'm gonna jump in the shower, I've just done some yoga, and head to the Bali Spirit Festival, so I will take you with me. So cute. This little pup. 
how gorgeous is this? And look at this view. Look at that view. It's incredible, and the mountain, or you can't see it. But how incredible. We are arriving! So excited, if not a little nervous, to see what is happening. We have arrived at the Bali Spirit Festival, so excuse my shininess, it's pretty warm. Um, we've come to our first session of the day and we've chosen to do some breath work, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, it's super bright here guys, and I've left my sunglasses at the hotel. I've got my green juice, we just did an epic, amazing breath work. Um, <laughs> God. Rosie's like running away, she's doing weird things, she had an experience, we both did, I had an amazing experience um, that I'm still kind of working with, um, anyway, so we're going to get some food, maybe some ice cream, oh and we, and this amazing lady, we said we liked her earrings, and Rosie and I have been looking for a matching earring, and she gave them to us, how amazing. This is where the sup happens, but currently Rosie and I are bathing our legs, so it is officially time for ice cream vegan delicious ice cream <laughs> and we're all a bit excited i've got two pots on the go because why not i went for strawberry and of course i had another pot that was chocolate gonna kind of feel the soul feeling some time that's where we know how Day. Oh, Rosie and I just did an amazing, oh better get out of the road, the most amazing two hours and 45 minutes with a guy called Daniel Rojas. I'm going to link to him because if you can ever get to one of his workshops or his classes, I cannot recommend it enough. He is just, it was like free flow, dance, oh, capoeira, break dance. It was absolutely insane and yeah, massively recommend him. We are so hungry now so we're going to get some food. Very good, Can you sum up today in three words? Oh, that's by the way a little crystal that we both got. We got matching. Got matching. Let me show. Let me um, show actually. And we also got. Oh, there it is. So, so pretty. beautiful. Anyway, so name. sum up today in three words. Um, crazy. <laughs> Energy flow, which is two. But well, I'll, I'll give it to you. Um, and oh. Like, <laughs> I don't, I, there's no words, like, I can't describe it. It was emotional, right? Yeah, it was very, like a, very emotional. I, I would call it a roller coaster over day. A roller coaster. I <laughs> cried. I'm not crying. I cried a lot today. It was really weird. It was and it amazing. Was, it, was, it wasn't like happy or sad tears, was it? It was no, just a bit like, it was incredible. It came out. Weird. Thank weird. you so much, Rosie. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my little crystal as well. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, this is what I got. It's so beautiful. So I remember Bali forever. We are in Alchemy and I've gone for a mango passion fruit and honey and bee pollen smoothie, which I can't wait. This is our starter. We have got some vegan nachos and they look pretty epic. So this is dinner. It is an Alchemy Lover salad bowl and looks pretty damn. Good morning and welcome to day two of 
Bali Spirit Festival. <laughs> um, although obviously I'm not currently there. I have just woken up and I'm quite sleepy, but I feel really nice and chilled. So yesterday was a bit crazy. Um, I just, we did um, some breath work and meditation and I had an amazing experience from it, but it's always one of those ones that you, it's a very personal journey and you have to like really get your head around the like the visions and the feelings and the energy that kind of come to you. Then we did, like I said to you yesterday, the most epic uh, nearly three hours of dance and movement and something that I'm massively going to bring into my own practice. Something that I do anyway because I do a lot of free flow um, and I do a lot of dance, but just, oh, Daniel yesterday was just incredible. Such an inspiration to me and someone that whose classes I can't recommend enough. Um, so today we, so the whole idea of me being here is that I don't want to go and do normal classes, the kind of stuff that I do in London. I want to do things that are putting me out of my comfort zone. So at three o'clock today we are doing a, I think it's called Afro Yoga Booty Dance maybe just afro yoga drumming dance i don't know um and then some meditation and some singing as well throughout the day so uh, that will be really really cool we are total creatures of habit we're gonna go to yellow flower again for breakfast because it, it, the food honestly was so amazing um and then it's only because it's close to where we're staying um so it's nice and easy to go there um and yeah that's all I have to update you on for now. I'm still trying to process a lot of other things that have happened. Um, and yeah, I will share more with you soon. Um, anyway, much love from a sleepy me. walking to lunch and we've come across this I'm not gonna swear rather large <laughs> spider and it's Monty. huge yeah, it's I'm a bit scared it's a of the oh my yeah. god yes we are back at the yellow flower cafe and this is my lunch I've also got some sweet potato fries coming and just over here we've got the lovely Rosie and Mark we brought Mark here so we can try it Yep, this is how sexy I look in a helmet. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> We're on our way to the Spirit Festival. We've got our ride waiting over here. I'm the only one with a helmet because I'm a little bit of a geek like that. So, Jeff's family, uh, they're African American and they uh, can trace back to uh, an African who was enslaved back in the 18, 1820. Yeah. So, his family can actually trace way back then. We have just finished Afro. Afro, Afro flow, flow yoga, yoga, dance. yoga dance. This is my crew. Afro. Afro. Oh look, we got our own very own one. <laughs> uh, with the amazing Leslie, she is over there with her husband, who was on the drums. And oh my gosh, it was sweaty and epic, and a lot of like hips don't lie kind of stuff going on. It was amazing. It was always on fire. Our house, our dream. We were dancing on a wire, reckless, it seemed. This is our dinner destination for the night. We have been told really good things about this place. So this is where we're heading. Rosie's already checking out the menu. Once again for our evening meal, the lighting is awful, but I have got this amazing, you can see that, avocado salad and Rosie's is, what is yours? A tofu, tofu something. something and a cone of dreams. A tofu something and a cone of dreams. So yes, so we are going to get stuck in. We have arrived at the evening event of the Bali Spirit Festival. So we're at Arma, which is the Museum of Art. And there's a concert and there is so much going on, loads of food stalls. I'm just following Rosie at the moment, not having a clue where I'm going. This looks super cool.
Y'all feeling good? I think they will them both. So it's the morning after the night before. <laughs> We're so sleepy. <laughs> We've had literally like, how much sleep have we had? About two hours. About two hours sleep. And now we have to get up because we're going for a walk through the rice fields, which will be beautiful. <laughs> we actually think they've forgotten, which would mean we could still be asleep. <laughs> oh my God, my face is so puffy. Oh my, I look like a mushroom. <laughs> unbelievably epic we are just walking up through the jungle heading to the rice fields it's so beautiful needless to say I am extremely sweaty we just did the walk it was I was wrong we weren't walking through the rice fields we just did this amazing walk which I don't actually know what it's called but I will find out and I will link to it below it was amazing and so even though we haven't slept I feel amazing for being outside now I need to shower because I am sweaty Hey guys, sorry that today's vlog has been a little bit meh. Well, there hasn't really been much content since we went for our walk this morning. I had a therapy session um, here with a guy called Nigel and it basically blew my mind and opened up a hell of a lot for me. And yeah, I've just been sitting with that today and we've just been chilling out. We both really needed just a day to process the trip and everything that we've been through. So yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> We're going out for dinner now to a place called Deus. Um, so I'll let you know what the food is like. Hopefully it's gonna be delicious. I'm on date night with my pals. This is our view from like upstairs. And then we've got Ryan sitting there and Rosie there. And this is our view, it's so nice. So apparently we've got a bit of tradition going on whereby oh just taking the pudding out of camera out of the camera shot. We've got some carrot cake going on and something else. Good morning guys. So last night was really really lovely. So we went to the dinner with our new friend Ryan um, who is awesome. We went to Deus, which the food was so, so good and we were all absolutely stuffed. Um, and then got coconut ice cream, which was epic. Um, so I'm gonna link to all these places so that you know what they are. Um, then last night we came home and we just journaled. Both of us had some stuff we wanted to write down. I think especially me, I was feeling very, very heavy. Um, I'm ready to go home. Well, no, I'm ready to see Rob. I'm ready to be back with him, but I actually want him to come here because this place is so amazing. Um, but anyway, it is pouring down with rain, um, which you might be able to hear, um, but we're heading to do a yoga session at 7.30am and then we're going to go for breakfast. <laughs> it's so incredible, it has not stopped raining all morning, but it's like such a magical thing. And we've just done yoga, Rosie's just having a stretch out, Ryan's doing his thing. It's just so cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So today we're actually having breakfast at Svaga Loka and I've gone for some yogurt, some granola, some seeds and some fruit and then a tea and some watermelon juice. What have you got there? What is that purpleness? Jack, jackfruit. Oh my gosh, it's the beautiful. colour of that fruit. That's amazing. Mm, that's good. Rosie, how was yoga this morning? Amazing. So you good. look radiant. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah we're wearing matching. Rosie's got that set on. Winning is winning. And I've got this set on, of course. That looks good. So it's time for our final lunch in Ubud, actually in Bali, all together. <laughs> Rosie's still packing, so I'm strolling on my own and of course going to Yellow Flower Cafe because it's our favourite and we sort of feel like part of the furniture in there. Um, it's really, really rainy today, as you can tell by my frizzy hair and I'm out of breath because I'm like walking so fast. So that is the end of our Bali trip. We just went for lunch with the most oh, magical, amazing group of people. Rosie, how are you feeling? Totes emotion. I can't cope. I that was, that was, that was totes emotion for those of you that didn't hear that. Um, I li words can't describe how those people made, made me feel. Like, I honestly will have them in my life. 
Oh, you guys, everyone needs to come to Bali. It's an insane place and if you are open-minded and you like, if you're willing to just get involved and talk to people, then you will just meet the most amazing people. So me and my frizzy hair are gonna sign off from this vlog now. I will be back home in like, oh my gosh, 24 hours or something like that. Um, and I cannot wait to see Rob and yeah, get on with the future. Much love.